Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Capricorn for the month of November. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind this reading is not a private reading, so it may or may not be for you. Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what do we have for Capricorn? Timing is fluid. What do we got for Capricorn? Ooh, Four of Swords reversed. You're probably feeling tired, right? You're exhausted. Uh, maybe you're frustrated. You could, you could, this, you could be feeling frustrated. I mean, that's the meaning of the card. Hmm. Ooh, but you're coming out of that because this is coming out of the darkness. So you could have been in a dead end situation that you are coming out of. Um, that's like. I mean, the Five of Pentacles reversed, that is gaining some sort of stability, right? It's the end of difficulty. You've definitely been in a challenging situation with the Four of Swords. Something that has made you very tired and frustrated and maybe even... Oh, weighed down. Ooh, so yeah, there's some element of sadness here. Okay, there is. There is. There is. Um, this is crying over spilled milk when there's an opportunity for a partnership here. There's an opportunity for a union. There's an opportunity to work together with somebody. But there's somebody that has been maybe moping, maybe feeling guilty, maybe having regrets. Somebody's been having regrets. Perhaps. But you see, there's still there's still an opportunity here with this two of cups. It's upright. There's opportunity for a union. There's an opportunity for a partnership. But you gotta have confidence, you gotta act with integrity, you gotta do the right thing. This is a card of transition. So you may be going through a transition right now, some sort of transition. You're being recognized as well. You may be recognized this month for your strength because I feel like you've you're gone through something or you've been going through something. Or maybe you were going to be recognized because you do the right thing. People like that, okay? Maybe you're going to be recognized for your... A nobility. This is somebody who is very noble. So you're probably going to be recognized this month for something. Opening up. Letting go. No longer being so stubborn. No longer resisting change. This is somebody who is opening up. Letting go of their stubbornness. Somebody who is willing to do something, right? This person is willing. What's this person willing to do? Now, the Two of Wands reversed is, well, this is the decision has been made. been a painful decision whatever it was you guys had to make a painful decision you did you had to make some sort of painful decision that was hard a very tough decision if you haven't made it yet you're going to be making it this month you're going to be making a very tough decision a tough choice but it is it's something that you are you may have been obsessed you may have been stubborn you may have been resisting it this is somebody in the upright in the upright position, this person is stubborn. This person is greedy and selfish and resists change at all costs. I will not budge. But in reverse, it's like, okay, all right. I think that you are, you may have been trying to avoid something. Avoid giving, avoid opening up, or avo you are avoiding making a decision, or you are avoiding stepping into unknown territory. 
Ooh. Oh my goodness gracious. The Ace of Cups. That cups. That's a, 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 it's a loss of emotion. Uh, loss of feeling, you know. Now this is avoiding. This is in denial. Somebody has been in denial. Maybe not knowing what love really is. It's all about love. It is all about love. But maybe somebody couldn't see it. Maybe you couldn't see. I'm not saying. You, this could always go vice versa. Keep that in mind. So somebody wasn't seeing. You see the mask. They were blocking their emotions. And this is blocked emotions as well. They were blocking their emotions. Not seeing what love. It's about love. It's about love. Somebody was so focused on pain right here the three of cups pain or being stubborn or something like that that they could not see they could not see that love is all that matters it's all about love love comes first interesting Ooh, the four reversed so this is somebody that has a lot of fear we got fear here and, and definitely afraid to step into unknown territory. It's almost afraid to give away something. It's like you've been afraid to open up, afraid to give, afraid to give what? And the Queen of Cups is love. Give your heart away. You've been afraid to give your heart away to somebody or what? I mean, the Queen of Cups is about love. She's tender. She's loving. She's caring. She's kind. She's a mother. She's compassionate. You may be dealing with a psychic. You could be dealing with a psychic. You could be dealing with a compassionate mother or somebody that is very loving, a big heart. Hmm. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. This is somebody that is, is intuitive and psychic. But it's like somebody has been blocking something, blocking love, blocking a love connection. You could be dealing with a... Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Aries. We have Cancer here, but this is moving. Mastering your emotions. Headed in a new direction. Finding the discipline and the willpower. You may be headed towards this person who has a lot of love to offer so I don't know if you are headed towards this person or this person is headed towards you you could be dealing with a cancer we have cancer here we have cancer here it feels like you've got somebody here that may want you to open their heart doesn't have to be cancer can be any sign we have Taurus Virgo Capricorn we have Aries Leo Sagittarius we have Libra Gemini Aquarius okay we have everybody. Somebody has been feeling left out in the cold. They've been feeling left out in the dark. They've been mentally exhausted. They've been feeling abandoned, right? Feeling like they're never going to be loved or that they've, they've had a loss of love. Maybe maybe they lost a love, right? They lost a love and they've been, been moping, been, been crying, been focusing on that lost love. But there is another opportunity for love here. Maybe realized. It feels like somebody may be realizing that there's an opportunity for love here. I should just take this opportunity for love. So I feel like there is another opportunity for love here. I also feel as though you are going to be recognized for your nobility, for your ability to do the right thing, to break free from something, to see the truth, to do the, whatever. Do the right thing keeps coming out of my mouth. I don't know if you've been hanging on to a Leo from the past. This is clinging to the past. This is a Leo. So I don't know. But this is this is this is clinging. It's not in a healthy manner, okay? So it doesn't have to be a Leo, but this is finding the strength to overcome, to let go. Strength is a card of letting go. Finding the strength to uh let go of something that you have memories with that is no longer um 
you're not meant to hold on to it anymore by the looks of things. So I feel like you guys are gaining strength. I feel as though you're finding your confidence. It's like you're refinding yourself. You have may have went through some sort of repression, you know, and I think that there's just like a a newfound confidence, right? There's a newfound confidence within you that you have an opportunity here. It's like I, it's like you see it now after not seeing it. Perhaps you, uh, maybe you lost a love. Somebody lost a love connection and they've definitely been moping over it. But there is an opportunity for here. There is an opportunity here. It's like somebody is has charged into your life or they have arrived into your life or they're going to arrive into your life. Just like, it happens so fast. But I, there's definitely somebody that is watching this that has been clinging, the meaning of the card, to the past. Clinging to the past. Could be with Leo, could be for the children, whatever. But this is not in a healthy manner. But this is regaining health by opening up and letting go. So we have somebody here that is going to be opening up and letting go because there is love there is love even though there's been a loss of loss of emotional fulfillment here but but there's been a loss of emotional fulfillment because this was an emotional blockage it's like somebody was blocking love it's like they just weren't seeing it they weren't seeing that all that matters is love if somebody doesn't love you then fuck them Right? Fuck them. Somebody else is here. Anyway, whatever. I also, I, I feel like there, there is, there is like something happening really, really fast with the char chariot card. This is you uh, being able to master your emotions. This is a transformation. This is heading very quickly in the right direction. This is replacing your fear with faith after not being able to do so could have something to do with a mother okay um there could have been some abandonment issues could go all the way back to your childhood i don't know where there's been some sort of of anger or angst or something like that but i this this is a card of healing of healing so what else do we got for for capricorn replacing fear with faith making a move you could be moving you could actually be moving home this month maybe you're moving in with somebody else this has something to do with a child or a new love connection oh okay so we have somebody who has been very 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 stubborn greedy and selfish not being practical at all unable to make good decisions because of pride and ego so some we have somebody here who has that pride and ego get in the way of a real love connection honestly very stubborn individual here somebody has been stalling they've been blocking not taking any action could have been dealing with a fire sign aries leo sagittarius somebody that is lazy controlling but there's going to be some sort of reunion there's going to be a reunion here This is socializing. This is having fun. This is uh, developing new relationships with people. This is friendships, be being friends, working together. Justice could be dealing with Libra. But this is a card of karma. It's a card of making of a final decision. It's about a card of integrity. It's about integrity. It's somebody's going to be doing the right thing to bring balance back to a situation. Somebody is about to get justice. They're about to get what they deserve. 
after not getting what they deserve. I mean, oh my God. How, what the hell? Right? I mean, crazy. I mean, that's after not, basically, we got scales in both. We usually do for the Six of Pentacles. But this is about um, balance and harmony. That's going to focus. We don't know. I could start swearing, but I'm not going to. Obviously, there's a reason why it won't focus. Because somebody hasn't been able to focus. I mean, how much closer do I need to get? There you go. Anyway, justice is about to be served. Right here. On a silver platter. Where's the silver platter? Anyway, somebody, there's been a lack of reciprocation. Somebody hasn't been getting what they deserve. Probably they haven't been getting the love that they deserve. But this is no longer, okay? This is getting the justice, doing the right thing. This is a final decision being made. There will be a final decision being made this month. And there could be a, there could even be a loss. There could be a loss. Somebody could be going to court. This is the end. It's the end of suffering. It's the end of a painful situation. Somebody has been suffering. Somebody hasn't been getting the love that they deserve. There could be some tears. Somebody could have been crying. <laughs> Somebody could have been in denial, blocking the truth, not hearing it. Not wanting to believe and completely obsessed with somebody else, not, not knowing, you know, not re just refusing to accept the truth. But it, this is the end. It is the end. Somebody has been betrayed because this is betrayal. It is the end of betrayal. It is the end. Justice is about to get served and somebody is going to have a reunion with somebody. And this could be a new love. Somebody's moving. Somebody's moving. They're moving somewhere. So Capricorn, I feel as though there's going to be a decision made this month. It's going to be a very prominent decision. Whatever this decision is, it's, it's, it's going to uh, take you out of a dark period. It really is. It's going to help you to open up. It's going to help you to release. You're going to be releasing something. Or somebody is. This is releasing. Somebody has been denied love. Denied love. And that is over. One card, please, for Capricorn. Oh, here it is. Unbelievable. Love is the foundation of your existence, and you're just as worthy of receiving as you are of giving love and compassion. While love can be a beautiful emotion, it is equally a form of energy that propels you through life. This is all about love. And everybody deserves to be loved. Including your own children. Good luck.